The true ratio of jobs in our economy is one, two, seven. For every occupation that requires a master's degree or more, two professional jobs require a university degree, and there are over half a dozen jobs requiring a one-year certificate or two-year degree, and each of these technicians are in very high-skilled areas that are in great demand. This ratio is fundamental to all industries. It was the same in 1960 and will be the same in 2030. After researching all the possibilities, the third step is to then set a tentative career goal based on your interests and abilities. And be sure to consider the range of wages in your local area in alignment with what you learned about yourself. This career doesn't have to be what you want to do for the rest of your life. Just set a goal of what you want to do first. The fourth step is to create a 10-year plan. This plan should include your tentative career goal, the education and training you'll need, and the realistic steps you plan to take to get there. Having such a plan will help you when you pursue an internship, select a college major, and seek employment. Also, be sure to make both a plan A and a plan B. Setbacks are inevitable, but don't worry. It's how you respond to these challenges that matter. We suggest developing strong coping skills and learning how to work well in teams. It is important to be able to pivot quickly and persevere down an alternative path towards your goal when obstacles arise. This could include community college, military service, a university, volunteering, registered apprenticeship programs, industry certifications, or gaining work experience. There are multiple paths to success. 